Right, so that time of the season again, where I give off all the animes, I'm basically going to watch the next season, and he listens to my disembodied voice talk about them. So yeah, basically, I left, I left this one a lot later, because I didn't really want to say, and jump the gun too much, and say, look, this is what I'm going to watch, and it announced a lot more animes. In the meantime, there's no point to it, so I thought I'll leave it to maybe about two weeks before the new anime start, so I know it, by that time what's actually coming out, and if anyone, any new ones start, I can actually just update my list and tell you guys afterwards. So yeah. So, let's get started. I mean, sh we already know Shin and Cat and God Eater, those ones are still going on, so those ones aren't too bad. You know, I'm watching those, even though I don't really like God Eater, called, it should be called Trash Eater, but that's just my personal preference. My voice is still a little bit um, bad, so if you kind of hear my, kind of hear certain words, just like, leave. It's because my voice is sort of starting, starting to recover a little tiny bit. But yeah, so, Mayorga is the first anime of the season that's actually kind of looks a bit interesting. Like, I like Diomedia, but Diomedia as a as kind of an anime studio that have kind of certain animes which aren't too bad. Certain animes aren't that great, but they're going over alright. They're like, kind of like Lurch. Lurch is exactly the same. I always thought Diomedia and Lurch were exactly the same, but they're not. So here's this one, Mayorga. Fair young, fair young men and women have come together on a shitty to bus tour. The sun's interesting already. The tour destination, a loose, possibly non existent village called Nakam Nakaimura. In Nakaimura, one can lead a utopian existence free of the world's obstacles. Also, it's rumored like, a, urban, like an urban legend. In the despair over the real world, wanted to escape the tedious life. Wanted to recite life in the scratch. So basically, in this anime, I can go there and stop my own harem lifestyle. Freaking yes. Yeah, that sounds interesting enough. I might watch it. And then we get Studio Trigger. I was kind of like, I don't know, is this actually to do with, um, is this to do with the other anime they're doing? Like the, I can't even pronounce the other na anime's name because it's really, really impossible to pronounce. But, I mean, the, the guy looks kind of familiar to the other dude in the anime. I was kind of like, I looked at it at first, I was kind of like, it looks kind of interesting. The anime is only eight minutes long, I was kind of like, oh, Trigger, stop making them. Stop making short animes, even though sometimes the short animes are pretty good. But Trigger's one of those animation studios that really freaking hit and miss. Because they just, I don't know. I don't like them too much. They're kind of like, ich, sometimes. They're sort of really good sometimes, and, all, and other times, like, a bit like, ich. I'm not too sure, but Uju Patrol Lu. Lu. Ko. Lu. Ko? In my own voice, once I pronounce it. Um, so this one's called My First my first Love, Big Bang. Yeah, so yeah, I bet Trigger just sitting there going, guys, are making an anime with cute girls? Yeah, it's kind of like, no. It's kind of like, well, freaking get on that. I don't know. I might consider it because it's on April 1st, which I swear is a. I can't remember, it's one of them, it's either Monday or Tuesday. Either way, alright, Ushio and Tora, I never watched season one. Third season was actually pretty good, but it's kind of like a 90s anime back again. But I didn't watch it, so I can't rewatch really season two, unless I actually kind of catch up with it. But I think it's 26 episodes. Uh, Gagawani Show! Didn't watch Gagawani, I didn't watch Gagawani season one to the end, because Gagawani season one was really bad. I didn't watch it because Gintoke is in it, I was kind of like, oh my god, it's Gintoke. That's kind of the only reason I actually watched it. Then got to episode two, and I was kind of like, nah. So I don't think I'm gonna watch season this. Okay, okay, this is the big one. This is the JoJo bit bizarre. Oh, it's got a big bizarre. I don't understand why. JoJo's bizarre adventure. Diamond's unbreakable. Oh man, I'm getting through JoJo at the moment. So I'm kind of sitting there going, I need to get through the whole 72 episodes just to get to this one point. So I've watched Diamond's unbreakable, and so far JoJo is literally like a masterpiece. No anime compares to JoJo. It's just, it just, I don't. I, words can't describe JoJo. It's just JoJo. I mean. Of course I'm going to watch it, but I've got to get there first, so <laughs> it might be a little bit later than usual. Hopefully I'll do actually get up April 1st. I've got like, I don't know, what's today's date? 15. I've got 15 days. I'm going to better get through it. Um, Bono, 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 Bono. I'm going to have the actual name. It's a four common manga, so it's going to be short, but it's kids, comedy kids slice of life. No. It's one of the other ones that which are short. Future car buddy but buddy fight buddy bite buddy fight double triple D. Well, that song's either really interesting or really bad. Either way, I'm not gonna watch. I didn't really ever get into future car buddy fight. I think I, got too, I think I grew out with card games by the time I hit around about 15. It's kind of sitting there going, yeah, you guys pretty cool. And I was kind of like by 15, I was kind of like, eh. I like collecting the I like collecting the actual like um, cards now instead of the actual like series itself. But still, back in the day, you get was the freaking balls. But nah. Either way, it's Attorney, a truth objection. Okay, now this is interesting. Because I saw this, and I was kind of like, wait, like, Attorney's getting an anime. And I saw everyone pictures doing it. I was kind of like, why is everyone pictures doing it? So I was like, there's a visual novel to it as well. I was kind of like, this is, this is, this is strange. 
But either way, I do want to watch it because I actually do like Ace Attorney. Ace Attorney is a freaking awesome, awesome game series. Even though I think I only played the first one, I can't remember. Either way, it's still pretty good. Oh, the Gastrix War. I'll call it the Gastrix War because it's kind of even funnier. It's going to name one picture sitting there going, guys, we haven't made an actually anime in the past season. Guys, we need to get on that. It's kind of sitting there going, oh man. I don't know because season one was horrendous. Season one was pure art trash. Like in the, it's like, it's like the Divine Gate level of trash. It's, it's just, oh, uh, there's nothing redeemable about it besides, I guess, the boobs and the boobs aren't that great either. It's kind of like, what am I even in here for? Kind of the flashy animation, but still, eh. But the problem is, I've watched season one. I just can't, I can't, I need to see how far I can go lower than it already has. Ah, uh, I have to put myself through a lot of trash sometimes. Either way. Brain Base is back this season. Brain Base wasn't around last season, if I remember correctly. Like, I can't remember. I think I think it was Studio Dean's like kind of time to shine. Studio Dean's basically saying like, guys, we need to make a good anime. Like, we haven't made a good anime in like two seasons. Going like, yeah, we should get on that. But in Ride, this is a mixed media project. It kind of gets me interested. They're kind of like sitting there going, so what can they do? Is it a manga series plus an anime? Is it an anime plus like, a game? Not too sure. But either way, I will actually watch it because that's like, pretty interesting. Right. So, Mobile Suit Gundam Unicorn RE0096. I think, if I remember correctly, Gundam Unicorn actually came out. God. I think it was four episodes. There was four episodes in total, like when it was first started airing, which was. Oh, God. I think like four years ago, I think. Like somewhere, somewhere around then. It's like six it was like six episodes in total. Six to four, I can't remember. Done my head. Either way, they're about an hour long each. And I wasn't like. I was. I wasn't too much a Gundam fan back then because I kind of had that transition though, where you started to Gundam constantly and I kind of went out of it. Now I come back into it because of um, Dying Blood Orphans. I kind of like sitting there going, This is the perfect time to actually watch Gundam Unicorn. I think even Sunrise sat there and went, Guys, Iron Blood Orphans was freaking great. Let's make uh, let's make Gundam Unicorn a TV edit. It's kind of like, Freaking thank you. So yeah, of course I'm going to watch it. Jewel Masters. Oh my god, Jewel Masters. Guys, if you like, put your hand up, you remember Jewel Masters, because Jewel Masters was freaking balls back in like 2000, and god freaking hell, uh, four, I think it was, when it first started airing. I remember I used to watch it, and I was kind of like, yeah, Jewel Masters. And then kind of went after a while, I was like, ah, oh, Jewel Masters. And after a while, I was like, nah. But I can't really watch it, because I didn't really watch Jewel Masters after season one, so hey, skip it, skip it out. Yeah, I don't. <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't think it's actually even me even deserve mentioning like why I should not watch My Hero Academia. Everyone's gonna watch My Hero Academia. It's My Hero Academia. Come on, what aren't you gonna watch? It? They need to read the manga a little bit because I haven't read the manga. So yeah, why aren't you? Why aren't you? Re why aren't you gonna watch My Hero Academia if you can say the words? So Panda Beast. Ah, uh, cute girls. A lot of a lot of bread. I don't even want to know. The cute and soft red four panel manga extensions around Minami. Top left and blow images. An airhead girl who is starting high school and who loves eating bread for breakfast. What? Bade goods bring happiness every day to her and her classmates. So a libel you, the pastry pastry bacon for Yumi and the independent Noah. So basically you're trying to tell me that literally this girl can like throw bread in your face and be like, guys. What is saved if I eat, if we eat bread? It's kind of like I don't think it's gonna work in real life, but okay. Nah, fam. Like nah. Like I might just review it out of. I don't know if I if I if you if you do see me review, I'm probably gonna review it out of mischief because it does look pretty funny. Right, Macross Delta. I didn't watch Macross. Like I was kind of a bit eh up towards Macross, so I'm not pretty gonna watch Macross Delta. But. It's one of those series I shouldn't really get into, it's kind of like Mecha sometimes, Mecha's pretty good. Yeah, I don't know, skip it for now. If I do watch it, you probably understand. You'll probably see it on my channel. Either way, Kong Revolution is Superhuman Fantasy, the last song. I watched season one, and you know how much I love season one, so of course I'm going to watch season two, because season one was a freaking balls. Okay, so Kuma Miko, Miko, Girl Meets Bear. Right, so this one has kind of like a Barakamon kind of feel to it, I'm going to pronounce Barakamon's name properly. Either way, I kind of, it's kind of interesting, because it does look pretty interesting, plus it kind of has that level of chill that I'm looking on a Sunday, because by the looks of Sunday, I've got, my brain's going to be melted by Conquer Revolution, my brain's going to be hyped by My Hero Academia. It's going to be one of those things I might have to watch, just to kind of like calm my brain down after a while, so yeah, why not? Let's watch it. Beyblade. Blade, 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 
Beyblade Burst. I actually even say the words. So bees in that name. Either way, um, I watched Beyblade when I was like really, really young. I had all the Beyblades because I was a freaking like boss at Beyblade. But then I kind of grew out of it. I grew out of most of those kind of shows. But the first season was the best. I think I watched the third season. That's about it. So I don't think I'll probably watch it. You know, Beyblade was a freaking balls back in the day. Mysterious joke of the third season, and uh, there's no point because I haven't watched the first season or the second. So, no point in me watching it. Age 12, a little heart pounding. What? The story follows Han Hanabi, a sixth grade girl who is neither an adult nor a child. Okay. She deals with issues such as accidentally witnessing her homeroom teacher kissing and worrying about experiencing physiological, physiological changes before her friends. This is the depiction of a 12 year old girl's innocent warriors and first love. What? What? No. What is this? I don't know how to feel about that. I'm kind of like. It. No. I, just, I don't even want to freaking know what it's going to be like. Probably someone got to tell me, he's like, God, it's going to be like a freaking masterpiece. And I'm like, I don't think so. I don't know. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Oh, man. Toy Animation back ruining your childhood once again with season two of Sailor Moon Crystal. I didn't know what Sailor Moon Crystal back when it first started because I remember reading about how, like, how much they're butchering it. So it's kind of like, see, I watched Sailor Moon when I was a child because I thought Sailor Moon was a freaking balls. And I was like, Oh god, I was like five when it first started airing in England. It's kind of like, yeah, it's just the freaking balls. Trying some of those animes, you're kind of like, don't want to admit I've watched, I've watched Sailor Moon. It's kind of like, so I always used to say, guys, I used to watch Sailor Moon when I was a kid because it was the freaking balls. But either way, I don't think I'm going to watch it because I didn't watch the first or second call. And plus, I remember what, reading about how bad it was. I don't remember my childhood get ruined. So, nah. Um, Baku, not Baku Bakuon. Back one. Siri, the series the story revolves around same story revolves around a high school girl who discovers the pillar of motorcycles. Sakura Hane is a high school student who looks a little bit like an airhead. Who was a season about girls being airheads? On the way to all the female high school, one day she wa she is worn out climbing a hilly road on a bicycle. She sees a girl named Osana Amano, who's riding a motorcycle. Sakura immediately becomes interested in motorcycles. Oh, so she just walked past that girl and went beep, I like motorcycles now. Uh, Sakura immediately becomes interested in motorcycles and she, she, she and Osana join a motorcycle club at the end of, at the school. Then Sakura sets out on a, on a, to get a high, to get her license, maybe say the word. Um, no. That's all I've got to say to that. It's like, no. Oh man, Wagamama high school spec. I looked like a mama high school spec and thought, why the hell is it called like a mama? Because like a mama is like a food chain in England. Kind of like, I'm interested. So it sort of rolls around a. God, my voice is really bad to me. Story rolls around Koki. Koki? Namurai. A high school student who draws a manga stylized in a weekly magazine. God damn it. Because the manga he draws is risque, romantic comedy. He keeps this fact a secret from everyone around him. Who doesn't give a crap? Like, you tell, if I tell my like friends, like, guys, I draw, I draw a hentai. It's kind of, I'll be sitting there going, you'd be like, the guys be like, yeah, good on you. You're not gonna be like, God, get out of here, you freaking suck, man. No, why keep that secret, man? He keeps it secret from everyone around him, with his younger sister Toa and his best friend Mi Mihiro being the only ones who know. But one day, a student council president Ka Karuko is searching from male members for shouldn't cancel he finds out that Cocker is a member of manga's author Koki join Koki joins the student council in exchange for Karuko is not revealing his secret however the vice president Ashe that word strongly opposes him joining at the end, and in the midst of all this various requests and trouble students begin to pile up what uh they're only five minutes long wait what I didn't read that, I thought, I was like, oh, 25 minutes long, it kind of looks a bit interesting. No, it's five minutes. Um, I consider it, this looks pretty interesting. This kind of maybe a little bit interesting. But either way, <clears throat> my voice is actually breaking a lot in this video, sorry about that. I send Cerberus, Ryukoku no 
Fate Light. Um, it does look interesting. It's a game done by Bridge. I haven't seen Bridge in ages. So this anime is set around a continent ruled by a sort of magic called Kunan, where a power balance between the Holy Kingdom and Aurora, the kingdom of that word, and the Ver and the Vandor's kingdom keeps peace and the dragon kingdom runs around the continent. Doesn't look pretty interesting for what it's trying to tell me, but it does animation looks pretty interesting. I'm gonna it. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, of course I'm gonna watch hundred. I saw the PV and I was kinda like, yup, I wanna watch hundred. And like Project IMS hasn't made an etchy anime in like one season, so they kinda sitting there going, guys we're an etchy anime like this season. It's kinda like, yeah, we should. Yeah, of course I'm gonna watch hundred. It does look freaking interesting. I mean I was kinda like, yeah. Do it. Right, so I don't ever watch these kind of things. Hakuiki. Hakuiki. I even that word. Um, I actually never, I actually never played the game, nor did I ever watch the anime that Studio D never did. But it did look pretty interesting. But nah. It's like, anyway, it's a very tall book. Once it's one of those ones you kind of get like in the middle of one of those anime series that you get. Now, see, Joker's game is one I've had. I've been most interested in besides Boku Hero Academia, and the other one done by Bones. Of course, I am gonna watch it. Ah, uh, okay. So, Battle Spirits Double Divide du Drive. Is that the word? No stops is available, but the picture does look pretty interesting. So it's like kind of a mecha sort of thing, but it's for kids and it's actions. So, nah. Oh man, Studio Period's back. Oh man, Studio Period's back. After their masterpiece that was Divine Gate, people trying to defend that anime. Say, "Yo, good, good, it's good." No, it's Divine Gate was a pile of trash. It was a it was a pretty good pile of trash to watch, but it was still a pile of trash. Um, I say it's a manga, so they're not doing anything original with it. So it's kind of like thank the Lord they're not doing anything original because their writers can't do anything original when it comes to doing stuff original. Took like a took a glory a took a glory a was a complete. I don't even want to say the words to actually kind of that anime. Either way, Twin Star Exorcist. Didn't that, didn't, didn't Twin Star Exorcist, or, Twin Star Exorcist already exist? It seems like I already know of that name. Either way, I'll probably watch it because it's, it's pseudo period. Like, I like period because it makes some really crappy animes. Okay, so these two. No. And then Neko Neko Niho, Niho Nishi. No, Basojo Yugi Unit Crane Game Girls. Oh god, that's a long, name, that's a long kind of name to say. Um, nah. Okay, now. See, there was like a, was it, there was an extreme lack of husbando animes this season. So I, was, I saw Studio Dean's making a yaoi. It's kind of like Studio Dean's making another yaoi. It's kind of like, I am interested because Studio Dean knows to do one thing good and then a good yaoi. So. Question is, do I really want to sell out because making yeah and what re review a Yaoi? Of course I wanna do that because it's Yaoi, it's freaking awesome. Yaoi is like the best. It's like Yuri but with men instead. It's kinda of like, how do you like it? I mean Gandhi put it correctly. Gandhi said, if it ain't Yaoi, it ain't anime. It's kinda of like Gandhi says the right things. Period Plus is doing an anime as well this season. Oni Girl. I swear I've heard of Oni Girl. It wasn't Oni Girl a game on PS4. Like it's out in Japan but it came out in England as well. Uh, but it's five minutes long. I don't like doing kind of short anime, so they bug me. Okay. And before anything else got announced by Bones, I was really, really curious in Bungo Stray Dogs. So, I am freaking going to watch it. It does look freaking damn great. Plus, it's a two-core anime, so it's coming out in October the next one, I think. So, yeah, I really was in always was interested in this anime before it even kind of, kind of materialized. So, yeah. And, of course, I'm going to watch this anime. Oh, uh, BM Pictures back again. Game Pictures isn't doing an anime which is really, really short. Akatsu Stars. Ah, uh, no. Unhappy. But the picture doesn't look unhappy too much. Uh, Silverlink. I haven't seen Silverlink for two, like, since... I don't know, I can't remember the last time I saw I kind of saw Silverlink do an anime. But, either way... I consider it, I think, because it does look pretty interesting by the looks of the kind of cute girls on it. I don't think it's kind of got me interested about it. Uh, but if I don't review it, you probably know it's probably not that great. But if I do review it, it's probably because I'm going to review it because it's, I like Silver Link. 
Either way, PA Works is back again doing some more probably mediocre anime because I haven't seen a good PA Works anime since. I don't even freaking know. I like everyone knows I didn't. I, I kind of thought at first Charlotte was really good. Rewatched Charlotte, hated it. Um, I watched Angel Beats, and Angel Beats maybe made me angry. Like as an anime, it actually made me angry. I didn't understand why people loved it so much. Probably a lot of people didn't say why the hell didn't like Angel Beats. I didn't find it at all sad. I was kind of more, a bit more pissed off with um, how the writing went about and how rushed like the end was and how it was not sentimental at all what it should have been. That one scene when they were going to get sent off was not impactful in any way to perform. It was too rushed. Either way, I'm not going to talk about too much about Angel Beats and how much I hate it, but... Right, my voice won't give out. Kurumukuro. It's a PA works anime that kind of it's got mecha in the title. It's kind of like... I saw it originally and I was kind of like, this looks interesting just because for some reason it had mecha in it. It's kind of like, do I really want to watch it because it's got mecha in it? Plus it's PA works and Juma Day ain't right in it. It's kind of like, if Juma Day ain't right in it, I'm kind of a bit more interested because I don't like Juma Day. Um... See, I dropped Horachika by episode 8 because Horachika wasn't that interesting, but this one looks pretty interesting by the PV, so I probably will watch it. Okay, so are you the are you thought there is never a girl online? Um Project number nine's doing I said Project Number Nine's doing um is that Protection Read. If I remember Project Number Oh Project Number Nine did a thingy. Girls Beyond the Wasteland and that was like a bit bad. Um I'll consider it. This looks pretty interesting because it has that G in it. Oh cub Carbonari, Carbonari of Iron Fortress. Now, see, I was interested in this because it's done by Witch Studios, and I don't mind Witch Studios. Granted, I don't like the storytelling too much because the storytelling is complete trash sometimes. The characters aren't that great from the point of, I want to kill this thing, and that's all they get is development. But, I mean, this one looks really interesting because it was like kind of big things attacking um, these people. It's kind of like, okay, so they haven't actually gone past the point of big things attacking people. They're Witch Studios, but I'm kind of interested in it. But then I found out that actually Amazon Prime Video was actually streaming it. I was kind of like, yeah, Amazon Prime Studios streaming it. Realize it's only in only in America. I was kind of like, why does everyone hate England that much? Like, we don't get anything. Like, they announced that um, Angie was coming out April 12th in America. I was kind of like, cool, it's coming out April 12th. Not for England. I was kind of like, you know what? I'm just born in the wrong continent, not too sure, or the wrong country itself. Uh, I don't know. I'll watch it anyway. This is pretty interesting. Um, England getting snubbed out of anime side. Okay. Boy Maid. I just kind of swallowed my sickness then. <laughs> just reading the, the title Boy Maid. It's kind of like, <laughs> I'm like, nope. Um, it's done by 8 bit. So 8 bit did that one anime I didn't like. Um, um, uh, no. <laughs> I read the title of the picture. I was like, no. Haven't you heard I'm Sakamoto? I watched a PV of this and it looked freaking hilarious. And Studio Dean something comedy to regret lately, so I'm gonna watch it because it's Studio Dean and Studio Dean does good comedies now. Either way, right, I actually scroll down because the eyes are not really doing really much. Uh, Red Nail of the Boundary, second season. I never watched Red, Na Red Nail of the Boundary season one. I didn't know season two was even coming out. So it's kind of a surprise. But um, season one did look pretty interesting, but I never got around to watching it. So if I ever do, I will watch season two, but that runs the point to me. Um, either way, I'm probably going to leave it unconsidering because I'm not too sure about it. This is pretty interesting. It's not about Rainbase, and Rainbase hasn't been around for one whole season. But either way, uh, Tanaka kun, why? It's it's more Ked Arug. Uh, it's Silver Link. Back again, doing 12% anime, it's 25 minutes long. Sighing, learning on his, leaning, on his eye, leaning on his eyebrows. Elbows. I don't know what I was reading. Sleepy eyes. Tanaka Kun is a boy that basically doesn't try but isn't disliked. This is a laid back youth comedy about Tanaka Kun and his quiet author who can't leave him alone. What? Doesn't really give away too much of the plot, but I consider it because it's a little pretty interesting. Not the actual artwork. My voice doesn't actually give out because it actually is at the moment. I can't say two words about my voice just dying halfway through. Right, Kins, Kins Navia, Trigger Animations, doing an original anime, holy crap, when are they also doing um, a re-edit of, um, of Ninja Slayer this season as well, because Ninja Slayer was coming out like 12 minutes long last, not last season, the season before, and they were going to like, 
Or then we just compile it together. I was going like, okay, I'm interested. I'll probably watch it then. But I, don't, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it around. But of course, I'm going to watch Trigger because Trigger's freaking cool. I like Trigger. You know, they're really, really the biggest hit and miss studio in the world besides PA Works and any other studio. But yeah, I probably will watch it. It does look pretty interesting by the PVs and I like Trigger's animation. Um, High Fury. Um, Prashashan IMS. When there were guys doing 100. So, okay, so what's changed their minds not doing an itchy anime, but, I mean, in the sea we live, the sea will protect, and by the sea we go. It's one of those navy things they say. Um, I'm not too sure. It's not, it doesn't really tell me how many minutes long it is, nor how many episodes it is, so I'm kind of like, I don't know, I'll consider it anyway. Okay, Flying Witch, JC Staff, Amori, Japan, the land is blessed by nature's Bountiful beauty, bizarre things begin to take place. Makoto Kawata, 15 years old, is a professional witch. Tevio Kawama, Yokohama, with Chito, her black cat, to live in the house with her relatives in Amori. This is where she began to train as a witch. Um, it's JC Staff, and JC Staff doing pretty good animes lately, so I probably will watch it. Because it's Flying Witch, I was always interested before even kind of. Like, I was really interested when we did this video. It's kind of like, oh, Flying Witch is coming out. So that's pretty interesting. So I probably will watch it. Alright, so Studio Dean's back again doing more than two animes this season. Ah, uh, ne Namako, a friend of the world. I'm really, like, kind of confused on what um, Studio Dean's putting like, this season because they're doing breaded Paul Cutlet DJ Agataru. These two animes confuse me. Like,. What even are these? What what even do they possess? What kind of things are they? Either way, I'm probably not going to watch this one. It's only three minutes long. I don't again. I don't really like short animes because they don't really do very much. Um, it's a gag manga. Follows this dude, stupid bonus guy whose family has run a dock on that Sue breaded pork cutlet restaurant for three generations. He's also a beginning club DJ. It really doesn't give away too much. Leaves much to the imagination. It's kind of like Shio Dean. What are you trying to pull? Either way, probably we'll consider it. Um, Sasha Sanyo. So, Cobo, the Cobo did um, that Lucky Logic anime last season that was actually like really, really, really bad. Like, I'm not too sure. I probably will consider it because it looked pretty interesting. Uh, Yu, Yu Sakame. Uh, spin off of Tekayu. Um, haven't heard of that one, so I don't think there's any point in watching this one. Either way, okay, big order. Oh man, now see, long story. I watched Murder and Nikki when it first started, like when it finished, and it kind of like finished in dub as well. I can't even, I started watching, I was like, yeah, this is actually freaking good. It's one of the only animes that ever got me back into anime. Like, after I watched Steins Gate, I watched this, after I watched Murder and Nikki. I was kind of like, yeah, Murder and Nikki is freaking amazing. I love it, it's like best anime ever. Watch the second time around, it's actually like, I was like, why? What was I thinking? But then I looked at Big Old, and Big Old is exactly the same as um, as Muranik. It's kind of like did the author not and the manga artist not change anything? I mean, the main girl looks like it's sort of like Yuno Gaso. The main girl is kind of like um, oh Yuki, if I remember his name correctly. It's kind of like nothing's really changed, but still I've already watched it because it does look pretty interesting. Again, my voice doesn't give up. <laughs> Keep going out. Sorry for this, like my voice like lately because it's just not like healing at all. Right, but I will watch anyway, because like, it kind of looked interesting. I read some of the manga, watched the OVA, and the OVA had, like, I swear at one point he had sex with a girl. I was kind of like, wow, they didn't waste any time in this, in this anime. Either way, Maggie, Adventures of Sinbad. Um, I never actually watched Maggie. Um, but, I, I, I mean, this one takes place before Maggie, so I'm not too sure if I should watch it or not. It's not done by A1, because I swear I wanted pictures to the original Maggie series. I might be wrong. That's from what I remember, but I might consider it because I haven't watched Maggie in this one takes place before, and I know who Sinbad is. Any his also, I don't think there's actually many problem with me watching it. Either way, I don't know. I probably will watch it. So Miracle Wonder. Um, no, I mean, doesn't look that interesting. Right, Vanguard. Jesus Christ, how many Vanguard seasons are there? How many Vanguard animes are there this season? Like, they just don't waste time in this, in this like, anime season with Vanguards. I uh, don't like Vanguard too much, as I already previously mentioned, so everyone won't watch it. So, real life in a different world from Zero. Um, 
Didn't real life already come out? I'm not too sure. Again, it's one of those animes I keep on thinking I remember the name of. Oh, it's just, unless it's Ari Hamatora. I'm actually thinking about, and I swear it might be a spin-off. I'm not too sure. I'll consider it. Plenty go read into it. I need to see if it's actually like a different anime or it's the same one. Either way, I probably will consider it. If it isn't, I probably will watch it. If it comes out this season. So Terraformers Revenge, Eve, aka MS Paint censoring. Like, I didn't watch season one. I'm not too sure I watched season two. Either way, I'll consider it because I might get through season one. Is watching see how it goes. So. I mean, if I do get through, I'll probably rule review it. Either way, I don't know. I got through season, season one first, but yeah. So that has been the entirety of this season of anime, and I'm probably watching quite a lot. I'm not too sure. I kind of need to be more selective of what I'm watching because I picked a lot last season. I dropped quite a few because a lot of them were pretty crap. So I've got to be very selective of what I choose, but. Yeah, so no Madhouse this season, surprisingly. A1 Pictures is not doing mysteries to anime this season, which is really surprising. They say announce one like tomorrow, kind of like, damn it, should have done it tomorrow. But yeah, so with all that said, I have been the driver. If you believe I like it, do leave a like to comment, leave a sub, do leave a sub to comment, bear. But sorry for my voice in this video if it has like kind of been a nuisance because it, literally my voice is giving out quite a lot recently. But so with all that said, I've been the driver, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.